part of the coupling, but if you didn't mention it, the green one is your electric line properly mounted and secure both ends, no abrasion, both your cuts, no exposed wires. You got the two air hoses properly mounted and secure at both ends. No abrasion bulges or cuts, not leaking air. Clad hands properly mounted and secure, not cracked, but are broken, not leaking air. And the seals are not dry, right, or worn and torn. <clears throat> you got the rub rail properly mounted and secure, not cracked, but are broken. You got the apron in the frame and the cross members. Properly mounted and secure both ends, not cracked and broken. None of them are missing. The frame is properly mounted and secure, not cracked and broken. If you go down here, there's no gap between the apron and the skid plate. Skid plate properly mounted and secure, not cracked and broken. You got the fifth wheel right over here, properly mounted and secure, not cracked and broken. Then you got this uh, pla platform properly mounted and secure not cracked and broken no missing bolts and the mounting bolts are present back here you got the air hose properly mounted and secure both ends not leaking air once you do that you mention your winch properly mounted and secure not cracked and broken and your straps properly mount secure at both ends not cut or frayed and properly tight then you go over your landing gear landing gear properly mounted and secure not cracked bent or broken and it's just fully rest brace precision crank arm properly mounted and secure not cracked bent or broken and it says lock position the clearance from the mud flap to the landing gear it's good it's clean so that way it doesn't hit when I'm turning and go back here and you will mention the tires these are duals so you say properly mounted and secure for everything and then this tire is no abrasion bolts to cut so what I like to do is basically I do the tires and then they do all the suspension so we got tires no abrasions bulges or cuts thread depth is two thirty seconds of an inch no bulges on the sidewall either or in the thread there's proper spacing for the dual tires fairly tires and there's no objects in the middle you got the rim properly mounted and secured no legal welds not cracked and broken. Lug nuts properly mounted and secure. Not rusted and none of them are missing. And then no signs of residue or dust or anything that shows that they're loose. Axle hub properly mounted and secure. Not cracked and broken. Not leaking and filled to manufacture specifications. The tires are checked with the air gauge to make sure they're fully to manufacture specifications. Behind the tire, right over here. You got the drum, brake drum, properly mounted and secure, not cracked and broken. Inside there, you got the brake pads or linings, properly mounted and secure, not cracked and broken. No oil or debris, the, and they're not dangerously thin. Right here, you got the airbag, properly mounted and secure at both ends, not cracked or broken. No abrasions, bulges or cuts, and not leaking right over here you got your shock observer properly mounted and secure at both ends not cracked bent or broken not leaking you got the spring arm right over here properly mounted and secure not cracked bent or broken and it's secure at both ends right over here on the top you got the spring mount properly mounted and secure at both ends not cracked bent or broken not leaking not cracked bent or broken I'm gonna say not leaking because it's not air. But then you go to your brake chamber right over here, properly mounted and secure. Not cracked and broken, not leaking air. Right over here, you got the air hose, properly mounted and secure, both ends. 
Operation Culture Cuts not leaking. So here's your mount, spring mount, properly mounted and secure. Not cracked or broken. Mud flaps, properly mounted and secure. Not cracked or broken. You got right here your slag adjuster. Properly mounted and secure. Not cracked or broken. And usually your slag adjuster is behind. Right, you're behind that uh, brake chamber. When you pull it with your hand, it shouldn't pull more than one inch. You got your shock absorber right over here. Properly mounted and secure both hands. Not cracked or broken, not leaking. Airlines over here, properly mounted secure, both hands and operations, both for cuts, not leaking air. And that's it for that. Uh, just make sure before you complete this, make sure you went over everything. Spring mounts, airbags, spring arm, air hoses, brake chamber, the slag adjuster and push rod and once you did that you completed the trailer inspection <laughs>